Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and I want to do a quick look at the fingerprint scanner. This is uh, one of the newer features on the, one of the new features on the Galaxy S5 and it uh, follows up the iPhone 5S and having a biometric scanner built into the device. Uh, you could use this to sort of uh, log into the phone, to pay with PayPal, and to do some other pretty simple security activities, security based activities. Uh, the, the fingerprint scanning is built into the home screen button right here. I think there's been some confusion because of uh, what this looks like. That little kind of pulsing um, might make you think it's built into the, the display, but uh, you could run your finger on that all day long and it's not going to make any difference. What you're, what you're running your finger over is the actual button there. So uh, worth keeping in mind. And I'll do a, do a test for false positives here and I will scan my finger scan my finger so max attempts reached enter alternative password uh, these things uh, usually they they test out at like 1 in 50,000 we get a false positive so I haven't done that many tests yet but uh, that's why they kick you over to the the, uh, <laughs> the password protection screen that way you have to enter in a password to log in uh, and that's definitely uh, quite secure you know depending on your password length that sort of thing it doesn't actually lock the phone you could still do emergency calls you could still uh, put the camera on or you could hit the home you know the lock button unlock it and uh, you're back to square one uh, but anyway when you do want to log in and you're done screwing around you get your uh, logged in finger, you swipe it over, it recognizes it, and you're there. And hey look, we're in the settings mode for the fingerprint manager. That worked out well. Uh, right here you could change your alternative password, that's your login password. You could uh, set when, uh, how you uh, lock the screen. I have it obviously in fingerprint mode. You could uh, verify your Samsung account if you want. You could pay with PayPal. Uh, you know, using your biometric creds for that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, the most interesting thing here is obviously the fingerprint manager. So uh, what you need to do is uh, log in because it's a secure device. Recognized. That's awesome. Uh, so I have one fingerprint in there. I can only register up to three, uh, which is interesting. And uh, I can't name them, so I'll have to just remember. Go here. Uh, so... I did my uh, pointer finger, I will do the other one, and uh, it's just like with uh, any other one of these scanners, you need to rub it, you know, scan it a few times, which is uh, really simple. Just put your finger over there, scan it down, one more time, or more than one more time, just keep going until that dial fills up. And it doesn't really tell you too much about getting alternate sizes of your finger or different angles or anything like that the way the uh, Gal the uh, iPhone S5 iPhone 5S does but uh, it does seem to be quite good and that was that was really quick I didn't get any rejections so that's nice uh, go home lock this in false positive test nope uh, try it again no match do the finger I just registered uh, recognize it and uh, can't get any quicker or easier than that. So uh, nice work there. Easy to use. Really quick to set up. The uh, three finger max is less than ideal, but uh, you know it is what it is. Anyway, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com with the Galaxy S5. Thanks for watching.